All right, what I have for you is the lab testing for the Gold Zero Yeti 500. Right here, I had it out on the field, had a lot of fun with it. Very rugged, this thing. So metal construction, American company based in Utah. So it is kind of made for the elements right here. So very robust case. So 500, very, very nice handle right here. Nice flat base, stackable, good weight to it, not too heavy. And the ventilation is right here on the side. Really good construction. And this thing is available in many configurations, 300, 500, 700, and they go up to all the way to 4,000. So I think they're gonna have what you want. And like I said before, the, the construction is pretty amazing. It's weatherproofing, it has this big rubber flap here. So you can get it wet and it's splash proof and whatnot. But what we're gonna do today is check the uh, limits of it. You know, what can it handle? So 500 watt hours, 500 watts, sustained and they say they can surge up to a thousand watts and we definitely have some surge devices here and we'll see how it uh, handles it and how it protects itself but the on-off switch is kind of unfortunate because it's inconvenient I'll have, i always have to reach back there and it has a cover and so i'll turn it on it has a nice little display here and then you can press buttons while the cover is on but you can't plug stuff in so it has info you can scroll through different data fields that it has and then what is this one? Pair. Oh, you can pair it to a Bluetooth app. I do have the app. I'll show you in a second. And let's see, USB. Turn on USB and turn on AC. Turn on, turn it all on. Turn on your 12 volt. Okay, so let's first try the, the USB. We have our drone here. It's fully charged, so we're gonna charge the controller. And right there, you can see how many watts 13 watts is what it's putting out and then let's do some some ac so ac will do our heat gun why not huh and then gotta do low yeah see how fast it shuts off so 557 watts is what it's putting out 98 percent full 36 hours till it goes empty oh that's gonna go down <laughs> at this rate okay so 545 and then i'm gonna put it on high and just see what happens 663 999 so as soon as it hit a thousand uh the red lights came on and it protected itself so very cool very cool uh that it did that and how you get it going again is by powering off and on. Okay, so off, on, and then you have to turn on the inverters again. In business again. 347, 546, sitting pretty at 546. I like that. And you can hear the fan of this Yeti. It's going on because it's a high load and it's not a, doesn't seem like it's a problem for it. Okay, for the stress test data, it came out with 411 watt hours and i got that using this tool you i measured all the output that came out of it before it shut down so 411 is 82 uh percent efficiency so right there on par with the with the norm for these kind of devices you have some fan losses and inverter losses and then on the dc right here i i drained it as well using the DC, the cigarette lighter, it uh, came out with 420 watt hours of data. So a little better on the, the DC inverter, and that's about an, an 83, 84% efficiency. So pretty good. This is the Gold Zero Yeti 500, and they have a huge family with good American support. Not the cheapest, but certainly it is, is, is a mark of quality uh, for this category of solar battery stations. Thanks a ton. And I have the 500 right here. And what's really cool is I'm out testing some RC cars and uh, I, I'm able to charge them on the field. So I'm charging a battery, RC battery right here with a charger. I can either charge it with AC or DC AC is easier. And then I have my drone right here. 
unlimited flying basically and then I also my GoPro uh, is charging with this unit and what I noticed about the Goal Zero is very nice construction and very well protected so the handle uh, really nice big swivel and then it confused me in the beginning because the I couldn't press the buttons it turns out this whole thing is kind of a protect protector so when you're storing it this thing just covers it you can press the buttons but you can't plug stuff in and then to plug stuff in it's right there uh, and then on the back it's the same kind of deal very well protected it's got a reset switch and then here the ventilation is pointed down that way the rain doesn't doesn't uh, enter uh, but you do need some ventilation to uh, get the pass-through air but here it is a very quiet operation so far and I'm gonna give it some torture test and uh, let you guys know how it fares according to claims and here is a, a really handy solar uh, solar unit of theirs and right here and oh nice construction so we'll see how this goes 50 watt hours for this one so just a little one but they have a 100 and 200 oh magnetized so there you go some new stuff from gold zero